guys, what is up? My name is Sydney Nicole. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a highly requested video that I have been meaning to do for literally months. So we are doing a Lashify review, update, review, tutorial, all that good stuff. I'm gonna be talking all things Lashify. I am wearing the lashes. I want you guys to see the lashes in the intro, so I just put them on. I'll insert some up close videos so you guys can really see. I have been using Lashify for about a year and a half now. I've been using it for a very long time. This is my holy freaking grail. I don't know what I would do without Lashify, honestly. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of like a little outline for this video. So first off, I'm going to just quickly, briefly show you all of the Lashify products that I have. Then we're going to jump right into how I do my own lashes, how I put them on. It's super easy. It did take me a little bit of time to get the hang of, but now that I have it down, I can do my lashes in under 10 minutes and it lasts me up to a week. Then I'm going to to walk you guys through how I clean my lashes because you can clean these lashes and reuse them. If you're reusing them, you can just save so much money and it's amazing. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean them, what I use to clean them, the whole shebang. And then lastly, I'm just going to tell you guys about their subscription program. This video is not sponsored by the way. I just freaking love Lashify. You guys ask me what I do with my lashes all the time and I did make a video when I first started out using Lashify over a year ago. It's about time for an updated version but I am going to tell you guys about their subscription service just because I personally use it. I think it's a really cool program and yeah I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on that and that's gonna be this video so. Hey guys just jumping in here quick because I have to talk to you about Dossier. If you've been around on my channel for a while you've probably heard me talk about them before. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the cost. They keep the exact same designer quality, but they cut all of the brand taxes and expenses so you get your favorite perfumes at a way better price. Their perfumes are so affordable. Every single scent is only $29. They also have a risk-free system that allows customers to try out their perfumes totally risk-free for 30 days. You can wear your perfume before committing to it, so if you don't like the scent, you simply just just send it back, no questions asked. They have free returns and exchanges forever and so many crazy good deals on their website. They offer up to a 25% discount and free shipping when you get more than three bottles. And they're always adding new scents to their collection. I'm obsessed with them, so recently I have been wearing the scent Fruity Magnolia. This one is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal Perfume. Its top notes are pomegranate. This is a little fruity scent, it smells so so, so good. This is my go-to summer smell right now. A little bit of peony in there, a little bit of amber. I always, always get compliments when I'm wearing this perfume. I have so many perfumes from Dossier. I have to show you guys my little setup. I have all of my recent Dossier sets here on my vanity and just look at how cute and aesthetic they are. This is the one that I've been wearing lately. It's called Fruity Magnolia. I'm so in love with how aesthetically pleasing all of the perfumes fume bottles are. They just look so, so pretty all sitting out together. Very, very aesthetically pleasing, I have to say. Yeah, that's my little dossier setup here. I have just been loving dossier for so long. And of course, I have a discount code for you guys to use on dossier, so I will have it up here on the screen as well as description below. So save yourself some extra money on these already amazingly priced perfumes. I could not possibly say enough good things about dossier. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know I've been working with them and loving, loving their perfumes for a minute. They have a risk-free system, so if you don't like it, you return it and get your money back, no problem, no questions asked. So why not give it a try? They're affordable and amazing quality perfumes. I love them, I know you guys will too. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video, and without further ado, let's jump right back into this Lashify video. Okay, so this is all of my Lashify stuff. So I'm just gonna take you guys through really quick and tell you what everything is. So I have an eyelash curler that is not Lashify brand. It's just like a generic eyelash curler, but super helpful in this process. I have this guy and this is like the most, most essential thing 
in the Lashify stuff. This thing is like curved perfectly to put the lashes on to fuse them together. So this is a must have and this also comes in a ton of different colors too, which is fun. This little guy is totally not necessary. I think it's called the blow and it just like literally blows air out, but I think it's fun. It was really inexpensive and it helps to dry them a little bit faster and it's it's just kind of fun to, you know, puff air at yourself. Um, I do have two different types of glue. So I have the Whisper Light Bond and then I have the Bondage with Charco Flex. I prefer the Charco Flex. I think it just stays on a little bit better, but this one is also a good one. And I usually switch off. So like one week I'll use the Charco Flex and then one week I'll use this. And I feel like I don't know. Maybe this is in my head, but I feel like it works better when I switch off than if I'm using one of them repeatedly. I feel like my lashes like get used to it and then it doesn't stick as well. I could just be totally crazy and imagining that, but I just like switching off for them. So yeah, that's that's that. And then I have the glass, which is like the sealant. And I also feel like this is not totally necessary. I don't use it every single time that I do my lashes, but when I do use this, I feel like they absolutely stay on longer. So it's kind of a nice thing if you want to wear your lashes for up to a week. I think this helps a ton. This is the pre-cleanse. You're supposed to put this on your lashes as a prep before you do any of the glue. It's like a cleanser type of thing. I honestly very, very rarely use this. I completely forgot I had it until I dug out all my Lashify stuff for this video. And yeah, I mean, I don't think it's necessary personally. It probably makes them last longer and I really should use it. But if we're talking essentials, I don't think this is super necessary. I mean, I have it, so I should probably use it more and see if it actually helps to make them stay longer. But yeah, this is the pre-cleanse. I really need a new one of these, but this is the melt away solution. And this is a very very necessary product. This gets all of the glue off of your lashes. I personally like to use it with a q-tip. I just stick a q-tip down here in here. I tilt it a little bit and then use that on my lashes, but you can also use like a cotton pad. This is very, very essential for getting the glue off of your lashes when you're taking them off. And then lastly, I just have some like storage for all my Lashify lashes and all of these little storage containers are from Walmart. I will see if I can find the links to them and put them in the description. They were super inexpensive in the craft section of Walmart, like buy like the beading stuff. So right now I'm using these little containers the most. On the top, I have them labeled so clean and dirty. When I take my lashes off, I put them in the organized spots. So at the moment, I am mostly just wearing C10s, F12s, and F14s. Like every time I do my lashes, I'm wearing the same lengths, the same sets pretty much. So when I take them off, I put them into their categories so they don't get mixed up. And it just makes my life a lot easier because when I used to just take them off and like throw them in a pile or something or like put them all in one container without organizing the sizes, it would just be like a hassle later to try and figure out what size they were. So that's super helpful. But after I do clean them, I put them into like the identical tower, but it just says clean. And I love these little containers because you can screw on more. I only have three on here right now, but I think it came with like six and you can screw on more to the bottom. So if you have a bunch of different sizes, you can just like keep adding them. I could connect these if I wanted to. They're really cool, really helpful. They're small and compact enough that I travel a ton and I travel with these. It just makes everything so, so much easier. But I also have this little guy and this is just more for storage storage of all of these little trays that I haven't finished using because all these have like a few lashes on them and honestly I need to go through this. This is not the most organized, not my most recommended system here, but I just like how this container really fits these gossamer tray things perfectly and I like that you can flip it to the other side to see the sizes. And then lastly, I used to use these trays a ton. These are also from Walmart and these ones are in sections as well. They just flip up like this. And I also have these ones labeled as dirty and clean. This is another solution if you do like the little flip ups. I think this is a good little storage container for the lashes for sure. So those are all of my Lashify products. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and curl my lashes with any curler. 
I do this a few times on each eye. I like to get a pretty good curl. I feel like it makes the lashes just look better and go on a little bit better too. Then I'm gonna be using the bondage with Charco Flex glue. I put this on like a super light coat of mascara, focusing on getting it in the base of my lashes and super light. I don't want this chunky. Honestly, the less glue is better. Then I like to dry it with the little blow tool. And now I'm going right in to apply the lashes. So I like to put a tiny, tiny bit of glue on the base of the lashes and then also blow it out a little bit just so it's tacky. And then you do apply these lashes underneath your lashes as you can see. And this is totally a trial and error thing, but I've been doing this for about a year so I can do it really fast now, as you can tell. But you just put them underneath your lashes. I like to use the wand to fuse them together, to push them together a little bit. But that's all there is to putting the lashes on. You just get them pretty close to the base of your natural lashes from the underneath. Get them in the spot you want it in, fuse it with the wand, and you are good to go. Once I have all the lashes on and how I like them, I flip the wand over and fuse it they call it so you really just put it over all of the lashes and squeeze together and this really fuses them it makes them stay then i use the glass which is the sealant and i go underneath my lashes and over the top as well If they're still feeling a little wet or a little bit tacky, I will use the blow tool and just fully dry them out. Then lastly, I like to go in with the eyelash curler again and just give them a little bit extra curl. I love my lashes to look very curled. And then we are done. So this is the finished product. This is what my lashes are looking like. I also will include in the description my lash map, so which lashes I used on my eye in which order, but I only used F12s and F14s in this set. And the better you get at doing this, the more flawless they will look. Like I said, I have been wearing these lashes for over a year now and I can really get them super close to my natural lash line. So they really do look like professional extensions, especially just the more you practice at doing it. But this is what they look like. I absolutely love them. For my lash cleaning routine, I like to use my little containers that I store my lashes in as well as rubbing alcohol. I pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol into each container, just enough to get the lashes soaking a little bit. And I leave this for up to two hours. I've seen other girls do similar cleaning methods and they've left them overnight, so it's totally up to you how long you leave them in. Once they are done soaking, I take each lash out individually and I use a soft makeup brush, hold the lashes with the wand, and just gently brush all of the glue off. Essentially, the longer you soak the lashes in rubbing alcohol, the easier they are to brush the glue off, but I've personally found that about one to two hours is my sweet spot for soaking lashes, but sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I'll only soak them for 20 to 30 minutes. I also use my nails and my fingers gently if any glue is stuck in the band or anywhere in the lashes. And I will also flip them over, hold the lashes by the band, and then use the brush to get any glue out of the tips of the lashes as well. I'm pretty generous with the rubbing alcohol on the brush. It helps get the glue off so easily and so gently but that is all to the cleaning process. I just like to be very, very gentle with the lashes because they can break very easily, but once I am done getting the glue off, I will typically just lay them out on a paper towel and let them dry for a few hours. Okay guys, so lastly in this video, I do want to talk about 
their subscription program a little bit and when I started out I did not understand the subscription program very much so I'm going to just explain it to you guys so you know what it is so you can decide if you want to use it if you don't want to use it if you are just starting out with Lashify you can get their control kit this comes with what they call like the essentials the basics to starting out with this system including some lashes the control kit I believe has three different options for which lashes you choose but the thing that I personally personally did not like about the control kit and the reason I did not purchase the control kit is because you only have three options for which lashes you get and I already knew that I like a fuller curled bolder lash I like it to really look like those thick lash extensions that you would traditionally get at salons and I didn't love the three options that you could get in the control kit so I decided to just purchase the products individually get the lashes that I wanted one thing about lashify is you probably will get one or two styles when you first start out that you don't love on your face you really just have to try different ones and figure out what works best for you what you like best that's just like a side note if you don't love the first lashes you get with them just try different styles there are so many different kinds so I would definitely say try a few different styles but anyway I wanted to get a thicker style so I did not purchase the control kit I actually started out with lashify by doing their subscription program so by being in the subscription you get a discount on the products and then you pick how often you want the product shipped so you can do like every week every two weeks every month every two months it's very customizable so you're not locked into like getting a box every single month you can pick how often you want to receive them and then you can also skip the month so whatever you choose you don't have to get your box every single cycle you can skip it for as long as you want you do have to choose a minimum of four products when you do get a new box but I find that's really easy I usually like to get about four different like cartridges of lashes and I think I'm on an every other month plan right now which works perfect for me but when I started out with Lashify I got a ton of products in my first box you can get more than four products in your box and you get a little bit of a discount on the products when you're in their subscription service so it was just about the same as doing the control kit because the control kit is discounted because you're buying all the products together but if you sign up for the subscription right away and get those products at a discount you're getting basically the same deal I would not recommend just buying products without either doing the subscription or without doing the control kit because it's obviously just not the best deal I personally would recommend just doing the subscription since it is so customizable you can skip the month and overall it works really well for me so I hope that explained the whole difference between subscription and control kit well if you guys do have any questions about that please just drop me a comment below I'm going to try to respond to every single one of you so but I am still on the subscription plan I'm currently getting the F's the fluffies and absolutely loving them I think Lashify is like the coolest thing ever and one other thing that I forgot to mention in this video, which is very important, so I'm so sorry that I'm just throwing this in at the end, but this is not damaging to your lashes in any way, shape, or form. The glue that they use is a soft glue. It does not dry hard, so it allows your lashes to grow naturally, and it is so, so, so much healthier than doing traditional lash extensions. This Lashify glue is way safer. It is way easier on your eyes and your lashes. My lashes are so much healthier than when I was just wearing mascara. Way, way, way healthier than when I was doing lash extensions at a salon. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope this was informative. I hope it helped you out. And I hope it answered all your questions on Lashify. Again, drop me any questions below or comments. If you like my lashes, let me know. I love them. But that is it. Make sure you subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And that is all I have for you guys today so I will see you in my next video bye guys